Hey everyone, today I got myself a Ledger Nano S. Now what can this do for you? This can protect your MetaMask account. Other accounts as well, keep it off MetaMask, do whatever you want. It's really useful, especially if you already have NFTs, a stake somewhere, maybe in Alluvium or somewhere else. It's really good to protect your assets and a Ledger Nano S, which is what I have here, does this really well. You guys are gonna wanna find out more, so definitely stick around. Now, as always, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, and please always do your own research. Welcome back, where I am Scoriox, and I do the maths, and you do the DGEN, but in this case, I'm doing the opposite of DGEN. I'm trying to protect your assets. There's a lot to talk about here, so let's go with step one. What is a hardware wallet, and why is it useful? Okay, this is very simple, all right? A hardware wallet stores your seed phrase somewhere secure. It's it's on a like a it looks like a little USB stick as you guys can see on this box here. Mine's currently plugged in, so I'm not really going to show it to you today, unfortunately. But you guys will get the idea, I promise. Okay, so why is that useful? Currently, if you use MetaMask, and I'll show you right here as an example, you can click this little thing up here and go to settings. You can go to security and privacy, and you can literally reveal. Whoops. Whoops, here we go. You can literally reveal your seed phrase right there, okay? Now you're like, okay, well, Scoriox, don't they need my password to do that? Well, if it's here in a Brave extension or Chrome extension or whatever you're using, if it is on the screen, that means that it's stored somewhere else. It's pulling that information from somewhere. I could be wrong about that, but it's still a risk nonetheless. So anyone that gets access to your computer as a whole, or even is watching your computer, can gain access to this seed phrase very, very easily. They can just search through your computer, find it, and steal your entire wallet with everything on it. What does a, net le what does a ledger do? A hardware wallet. A hardware wallet stores the seed phrase on the hardware wallet. You need to press buttons on the wallet to sign any transaction and things like that, and everything is locked to it. That's it. If someone wants to access your seed phrase, they can never do that. There's pretty much no way to break that open. If you give them your seed phrase, you're still pretty screwed. Not gonna lie to you. But as long as no one gets that, you're fine. And even a hardware wallet has a password on it, something you can't just steal. So they would need to know your pin as well. So it's a very good way to protect yourself. As always, you should have a backup. You should likely have written down your seed phrase on a piece of paper somewhere, which is also very secure, but you want to make sure no one ever gets access to that. So let's move straight on to how to move your assets or your MetaMask onto your ledger. And we're going to dive through that process, okay? So the first thing you want to do is you want to grab that seed phrase and you want to import that into your Ledger Nano S. As soon as you boot up your ledger, it will ask you a few options and you'll use one button to move to the right and one button to move to the left on the different options. Both buttons to click will enable, will select any given option it's showing you on this little screen. And it's really neat and I'm quite impressed. One of these options will be to import using a secret recovery phrase. And that will be your MetaMask phrase. It will be 12 long. Don't be afraid to pause and do all those steps but they take a little bit of time. So it's, it doesn't make much sense for me to record myself doing it. You'll put in those 12 words. You'll actually do the first few letters, say the word is protect. If you put a PRO, then it'll just come up with a word and you can shift right until you find protect and put it in. So it's really, it's really not that bad. It's actually pretty well made, but you can just do that. So it's a 12 word seed phrase. You put all them in and now you have the wallet. And I'm gonna prove that to you very soon. So once we've got the wallet here, what we're gonna do so we can check this afterwards is I'm gonna go close this, is we're gonna have a look at our wallet addresses. So account one is this, I'll just copy it to the clipboard by clicking it and then paste it here. I've already put them in, but you can see that first one was the same. We jump to account two, we'll click that here, here, put that in, that's also the same. And account three, 
Obviously, these are all fake, or well, not fake MetaMask. They're MetaMask I'm not going to use, so don't even bother trying to steal it. They have nothing in them. And that's the third one. And now we can see what three wallet addresses. They're on the MetaMask, but they're actually also on the ledger right now. But the next thing we're going to do, and this step is really, really important, okay? We're going to go to the MetaMask extension, all right? Oh, actually, before we do all that, we need to get the ledger completely ready. Now, it's already plugged into my computer. Um, just before you get to this step, you will have a few options on a program called Ledger Live. I'll put the link in the description for the website. It's a simple download onto Windows. I believe you can download it on Google Play and the App Store as well you'll just download that software and you'll plug in your ledger and then you'll click connect to your already set up ledger. I believe it's the second or the third option down there. It won't show me that option again, unfortunately, but it is just like that. And now what the first thing we do want to do is we want to connect the Ethereum wallet and you just click install. My ledger is connected and I logged into it and enabled and things like that, but it gives you all the details on how to do this when you're going through any process on the ledger live. So I'll just install Ethereum and Matic, Australia is notorious for slow Wi-Fi. Mine isn't that bad if you ask me, but I've seen other people do these tutorials and their installation takes like a second. <laughs> so it does take me a little while. So it's just installed the Ethereum wallet, um, which is good. It just stores some hardware space and things like that. I don't understand it too much. I'm gonna focus on the MetaMask side of things here because that is the really important one. Because from my understanding, you cannot store NFTs on these wallets at all. You need to store them on MetaMask. So this is currently the best way to protect your NFTs. And that is where I'm going with this. So after all that, so this is the really important step again. Sorry about that sidetrack. You wanna to go to your extension at the top here, MetaMask, okay? And you wanna remove the extension. What this does, all right, is it gets rid of the seed phrase off your computer. It removes all the information from MetaMask. Now that your seed phrase isn't there anymore, you are perfectly safe from hackers. And now let's do this last step, okay? So I'll put all the links that I'm looking at right now in the description. You just wanna click install for Chrome, even though I'm a Brave browser. All this works the same on Chrome, I'm pretty sure. Just install it. It'll get installing and it'll store your MetaMask on your browser so that you can make a new MetaMask account. Now this new account doesn't really matter. It's a burner, okay? You won't use it for anything. It's just, I don't know, just for formalities or some kind of stuff like that. So we'll click get started and we will say, let's get set up. I agree. My new password can be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight which you guys have probably already figured out, which is what I did before to create my fake MetaMask account. And always you can actually reset your ledger to factory settings as well. It won't affect anything, especially since everything is actually tied to MetaMask, not the ledger. The ledger is just kind of like your key to open the door that is your MetaMask wallet, which is really, really good. So I'll just grab all these and I'll chuck them in here because I'm gonna need to put them in. If you guys remember the order, do it with me. <laughs> so we've got deal and then cruel, junior discover, claim kitchen rhythm. Uh, there we go. Remain muscle, ready casino gloom. There you go. And that's just how you set up a MetaMask. Very, very easy. Now this last step is the best one. You just want to go over here and click connect hardware wallet. Click ledger, all right, continue. And I'll select my device, unknown error. Okay, I'll be back with you in a second once I have this fixed. Okay, so we're back. I've just opened the Ethereum wallet on my ledger. I can just select the app, the app we installed a second ago, select startup, and it just says the application is ready on the screen. So now we'll go to connect, select our Nano S, and it should, with any luck, work. I also closed Ledger Live because that can have some interference issues as they're both trying to access the same thing. So it worked, perfect. So it just goes into our Ledger Live and you'll see that this can sometimes be the wrong information and have, this, this can have the wrong addresses. Now, if we cross-reference these addresses quickly, I'll have a look at this. So the first one is correct, 
but the second one is not right. So if you're having that issue, what you want to do is you want to go and switch this to the BIP44 standard, which is your MetaMask. So connect this again. And now what it does is it has the correct wallet addresses that you can see right there. They're really right and there's a billion more. If you kept creating accounts, it would give you them. Let's put it that way. So we've got the right accounts. So we'll add the first three. We'll click unlock. And now what's happened is your ledger addresses are all here on the MetaMask. All right, you can see that little thing saying ledger, which means that it's using the ledger to sign the transaction and it's the address stored inside the ledger wallet. It's, it's still mind blowing to me and I have a ledger now. It's still crazy, but that's just how it works. It has your ledger wallet in there and now whenever you go to make a transaction, it won't give you that little sign button in the thing. You can edit all that stuff thing still, I think, but you just need to go into the ledger and it'll tell you what to do. It'll be like, sign the transaction, confirm, and you'll click the two buttons. It might ask you for your pin code, or that might just be when you first start up your ledger. But the seed phrases for that MetaMask wallet are only at this time. I mean, they're in my notepad and stuff that you guys already saw, but they're only at this time on MetaMask. All right, I mean, no, not on MetaMask. They're only on the ledger and you can use them on MetaMask and sign the transaction with your ledger. Okay, I really hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a crazy tutorial. I hope it wasn't too messy. I hope you guys got something out of it, but the ledger is really powerful and definitely worth getting, especially if you own some expensive NFTs. If you want to learn more about an NFT called ETH Lizards, which is why I'm making this video, check out that video down there. It has some awesome information about it, some awesome stuff. ETH Lizards is going to be a crazy NFT project. I'm excited to see where it goes in the future. Have a good day, guys.